program. Commitment. Loyalty. Character. Ernie Manning and MacArthur Football are two names that will forever be linked together. This is how the story all comes together. In 1975, Ernie got a job coaching junior high football and baseball in Rush Springs, Oklahoma. While there, he and his wife, Jana, would have two sons, Brett and Chris. And just after three short years, the people in Rush Springs saw something special in Ernie and offered him the head football coaching position. At Rush Springs, uh, just uh, went through two other coaches uh, that were head coaches and learned from them for the first three years of my career. Uh, we were average football teams. Uh, I coached uh, head coach at Rush Springs for three years. Uh, pretty average, and I uh, was a pretty average coach, to tell you the truth. Uh, just, um, you know, as, uh, after three years as an assistant coach, I jumped into that head role, and uh, it's really different for me and new for me, and I, I tell you the truth, wasn't prepared for it. After three years of head uh, coach at Rush Springs, uh, knowing that I needed experience under a different program, uh, a guy by the name of Dennis Cavalier come from southeast Kansas. Uh, actually, it's uh, Wichita Southeast. I won a couple of state championships there at the large school and was going to Chickasha. That job came open, he got it, I kind of kept uh, and, and kept in touch with that situation. And I, you know, it really appealed to me to go and meet this guy. And, and if he had any available openings, uh, see if I could get on that staff. Uh, and so that's exactly what I did. I went over and met with Dennis Cavalier. Uh, he had openings, he, he, we, we connected, and he hired me. And, and this is uh, where I learned the, what a football program is all about uh, from Dennis Cavalier. Uh, what a uh, program and X's and O's, they come and go. But uh, he, he was my mentor in, in the football. Dennis Cavalier would have a profound impact on Ernie. He, uh, when we got together in Chickasha, uh, he, he taught me how, what a program should consist of. Uh, and how to conduct every day-to-day -day activities with our players, how to be positive, the value of hard work, uh, and the value of just all the coaching staff together in a family-like atmosphere, uh, as well as their families. Uh, he taught, you know, not necessarily the X's and O's that was important to me, it was the program. and and uh, what we expect of our players and what uh, he expected of his coaches. Uh, everything, everything a play, uh, can program consist of, I learned from Dennis Cavalier. And uh, he came from a proven program that he learned from somebody else. And we just try to pass this on uh, to coaches that come through our program uh, from time to time. And uh, it's certainly proven, I, I don't know the better uh, program out there than what he brought uh, and I learned from in Chickasha. Ernie spent six years as an assistant under Cavalier in Chickasha and then followed him to Pampa, Texas as his offensive coordinator, where the Mannings would be from 1987 to 1992. It's where they would meet up with Max Plunk. <laughs> uh, we was in Pampa and they just got in and um, we thought they were nuts. I mean, coming in with the type of discipline that we were seeing, which we were had not been used to that. Um, staying at attention, your hands behind the back, uh, saying yes sir, no sir. Um, we, we thought they were crazy, but uh, as it turned out, it was it was the program. Uh, I can remember in the summer that there was a sidewalk that 
was not level and when it rained it leaked into the locker room and they didn't like that and so they were busting out that sidewalk with sledgehammers and loading it up in a dump truck in the heat of the summer and I pulled up there in my driver's ed car and I thought they I thought they were nuts but they were they were just showing the rest of us that you had to work to make the program better. After having success in Pampa, it opened the door for Ernie Manning to give head coaching one more try. The fact that uh, I was not very prepared as a head coach at Rush Springs, but uh, spending 12 years with Dennis Cavalier and in the program that he ran, I felt very prepared to come in and run my own program. Uh, and, and so it, uh, you know, it, it's difficult and every situation is different. I learned that from Chickasha to Pampa and then also to MacArthur that you, you still have to adjust to the situation. And that's where just an individual comes from and uh, make your own judgment calls uh, to run your program. In 1993, Ernie took over the MacArthur football program, but his first year wasn't easy. Mac finished three and seven, and Ernie endured lots of criticism. Ernie had a new system and a new program that he was putting in that took a little bit of adjustment period uh, for the players and uh, the coaches and, and everybody that was involved. And uh, it was a pretty tough year, but uh, you know I think that the foundation was laid to uh, establish the program that we have today. In 1995, Mac found themselves in yet another state championship game and made the statement that Mac is back. With Ernie as head coach, his oldest son Brett as quarterback, and his youngest son Chris the deep snapper, the Manning family had a season to remember. Just satisfying to know that we did have a great season in 1995. Uh, Brett was a senior quarterback. Chris was on the team deep snapper. We went uh, to the state championship, and, and that was uh, gratifying. And, and the fact that we knew we could do it, and, and we did it with uh, my kids, both in the program. In 2003, Mac introduced a new style of football that had tremendous success. And with the now new pop offense, the Highlanders found themselves playing for yet another state title. Before the game, before the 2003 uh, state championship game, it was you know pretty quiet in the locker room, uh, just anticipation of getting ready to start. And uh, Coach Manning already called us all up, and it all came up as we usually do, just in a little circle. And he said, "No, I want you to get in here tighter." So we got in a little bit tighter. I said, no, I want you to get in a little bit tighter. And we're just shoulder to shoulder, jam packed. He's right in the middle of us. He said, I just want to tell y'all one thing. He said, no matter what happens tonight, I love y'all. And just that right there, it was, uh, it was something right now giving me chills, but it was something that I'll never forget. And just that, that was his character. Um, he was a coach, but more importantly, he loved his players. After his second defeat in a state championship game and a semifinal appearance in 2004, Ernie had decided to resign his head coaching position. After the 2004 season, Chris and I uh, were in the car with him, and uh, he told us both that that he was uh, that he was going to resign his head coaching job, and, and that you know kind of felt like he had uh, done everything uh, that he could do, and and uh, felt good about his career, and was going to give it up, and, and nobody wanted him to, and. Uh, you know, I, I called him on my way home that day and said, you know, just as a, a thought here, if you if you would like to hire me and uh, and keep coaching for a few years, uh, you know, we could work together, which would be kind of a, a rare thing in in football as a father and son working together, and it was going to be our only opportunity to ever have that situation. And I just, you know, offered myself to uh, to come up here and and coach with him for a few years before he uh, decided to retire from coaching and uh, you know never never thought that we'd be in the situation that we were in now and, you know I, I had every intention of going back to Texas after after a few years up here and you know the just kind of the way things worked uh, it, it ended up that I was able to get this job and and, uh, and then of course hire him as as my assistant and it was uh, it was a great deal we've had a great relationship all through our our football uh, time together whether I was a player or a coach and and uh, 
a coach under him and now him under me and uh, just a, it's a really smooth deal and a very unique deal and uh, we've had a lot of fun. Ernie Manning had left his mark on MacArthur High School and the state of Oklahoma. In his 16 years, he has made 12 playoff appearances, seven trips to the semifinals, and three state championship games, and now has been inducted into the Oklahoma Coaches Association Hall of Fame. But his legacy is not all about wins and losses. I guess it was just natural that I'd marry a football coach because I've always loved the sport. Uh, being a football family has been just perfect for us. It's something we love to do. I enjoy the games on Friday night and all the, the preparations getting ready for it, especially you know, when my boys were playing. So I think it was just a natural, a natural thing for me. Ernie's teachings and influence go way beyond the game of football. He has instilled a program based on priorities and discipline that will be carried on in the lives of hundreds of young men he has coached in the last 40 years. Faith, family, and football.